Today, I'm going to show you how to edit and export vertical or portrait style footage for Instagram or TikTok. You can do this with any aspect ratio, and it takes all of 10 seconds. So without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. Let's first import our video footage. This is a short horror film I made for my other channel, Social House Films. As you can see, if we right-click and go to Properties, the dimensions are currently 3840 by 2160. If you shoot just about anything in landscape or full screen, the ratio will be pretty much the same. So what we want to do now is change these dimensions so that it's formatted vertically for an iPhone. So let's go to File, New, Sequence, and then go to Settings. Here you'll see the frame size by default is set to 1920 by 1080. So let's go ahead and change this to 1080 by 1920. And you'll see the ratio changes accordingly. Let's go ahead and select maximum render quality. And just in case you want to expedite the process in the future, you can save these settings as a preset by clicking right here. And then name your sequence preset to whatever you want. Let's call it vertical and hit OK. And now you'll see that anytime you start a new sequence under Custom, you have your vertical preset settings right here. Let's name our new sequence Vertical, and hit OK. So now you'll see our playback window is now the shape of your iPhone, so it'll fit the vertical dimensions on Instagram or TikTok. So whatever we drag onto the timeline will fit these dimensions. Let's just find a piece of footage we'd like to edit. This section looks pretty good. And when we drag our footage onto the timeline, it's going to ask you if you want to change your sequence settings or if you want to keep the existing settings. This is obviously because the footage we're working with was shot in a completely different aspect ratio than the sequence we're now editing in. Let's click Keep Existing Settings. So now our footage is fit into these new vertical dimensions, but it won't necessarily be framed correctly. Like if we scrub over here, for example, you'll see her face is cut off. So what we can do is make sure this clip is selected, go to Effect Controls, where we can then mess around with the position, we can mess around with the scale or rotation if we want. Just sort of play around with it until it looks perfect to you. Lastly, in order to export the footage with these same dimensions, let's go to File, Export, Media. Here you'll see our export dimensions already match our sequence, but just in case they don't, let's say your preset is on YouTube 4K or something, and you have these ugly black bars on the right and left, and your output settings still reflect the dimensions of your footage, you can just click on Match Source, and it'll automatically match the dimensions of whatever sequence you're exporting from. Use maximum render quality, and hit Export. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.